Hey, Chris here. I found the right posts for this project and I got them set in concrete. Kind of busy day, but I tell you, it was actually kind of fun. <laughs> I bought 12 bags of 80 pound quickcrete and mixed it by hand. I got some big neoprene gloves to save on my hands and a trowel and mixed it by hand in the wheelbarrow. And it turned out wonderful but this uh, these posts are 13 gauge heavy-duty stockade stuff not that stuff you can get at Lowe's or Home Depot that's 16 gauge this stuff's the heavy-duty stuff and I had to go to uh, lumber yard like a farm and fleet type deal in uh, Dell City and get them uh, four of them and they weren't that expensive at all believe it or not and I also got the brackets you can see I'll go up there close but you can see where I got the brackets uh, to attach the wood now just picture this what I'm gonna do <clears throat> is get U bolts and I made these nine feet just nine feet across here so the 10 foot section will fit beautifully so 10 foot there and 10 foot there and I'll leave space enough because I need 21 feet uh, in between there so I can get that extension out so everything will so it'll be 21 feet across there for the 12 red energy panels okay beautiful day I'm in shorts right now it's what 70 uh, 78 back here on the patio it's windy as all get out Let's go up here close and I'll show you my work. But also, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pour dry concrete into the tube here and just let it naturally harden <laughs> instead of mixing it. And that way it will really strengthen it up. But these were eight foot poles and I was about six inches above there. So I wasn't quite 24 inches down so I banged them down so I was like so I probably got about 28 to 30 inches into the dirt and then I just poured in the concrete all around it see there and I put these brackets all ready to go which I probably shouldn't have done but there's a bolt in there I can just bend them out and then get those lag bolts and attach it to this wood here this wood is still good after 10 years of being up so and then with that super strut it's going to u-bolt attach there lag bolt attach there lag bolt attach there u-bolt there so there's going to be four places where that thing's going to attach up there and the one down there so this thing's going to be good and strong it's going to have a lot of places to be rigid 16 there, I don't know if you can see that. But these posts, guys in my shop came over, and we put these in about nine years ago. And they're doing all right. Uh, but you know, with the tornadoes and everything, this fence is a little bit weak. I don't want to be, I don't want to move it right now. Um, but it'd also be a lot easier if I ever had to replace this, you know, these, these uh, pickets or whatever you call them. Uh, be much easier now because this is done. So, and of course, what happened? The cat decided to put his paw prints in there like a good boy. <laughs> and that's my boy. So, good stuff. And the line, let's get the camera right here in the corner. Let me show you the line here. See that? You can't get any straighter than that noise. That is cool. Very happy with that. Very happy. So there you have it. And of course I am all... I need a shower. Let's just put it that way. So here you have it. It's going to be a solar panel fence. And uh, hope you enjoyed this project. I'm starting to dig it. 
and get those panels off the pergola there and get them in here and making some sun you know because the sun's gonna you know it starts off in the morning way over there and then by summer it's gonna come right up through the house right here and just, just like that and this is gonna bake bake this whole corner so okay hey thanks for watching and I am gonna go get cleaned up and uh, you guys have a good remainder of the weekend and we'll see you later